Hi everyone, this is Megan Von Sell, your cancer expert, and I'm the owner and CEO of Cancer Peace University, where it is our goal to set you free from the fear of cancer. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about an important key holistic protocol for cancer that I'm really excited to talk about. And let's learn a little bit more about something called ALA or alpha lipoic acid. Alpha lipoic acid has been studied for its amazing ability to support during a cancer diagnosis. Let's learn more about what ALA is and how it's been used in holistic approaches to cancer. ALA, alpha lipoic acid, is a sulfur compound that acts like an antioxidant in the body. But the other amazing thing about ALA is that it is able to recharge liver protective antioxidants such as vitamin C, vitamin E, glutathione, and CoQ10. The ways that ALA can support the body are many and varied that we'll talk about in this video. ALA, first of all, is very protective over the health of the mitochondria. Dr. Otto Warburg was the first cancer researcher in Germany to discover that cancer cells had abnormal mitochondria and missing mitochondria. And studies looking at ALA have found that ALA is able to increase cancer cells' ability to respire oxygen to produce ATP. And also in a study in 2005, looking at colon cancer specifically, ALA treatments were able to increase the ability of the colon cancer cells to use oxygen to produce ATP. In another study on colon cancer, ALA helped to promote apoptosis or normal cell death of cancer cells. ALA has been used in the supplement form as well as in the IV form during holistic cancer treatments. ALA has been an amazing support for the liver and is able to help to protect the liver and even regen regenerate um, the liver because of the antioxidants that are recharged through the use of ALA. Let's look a little bit deeper at what ALA does to support the mitochondria. The mitochondria during a cancer process will end up respiring will end up not being able to respire oxygen to produce ATP. Rather, the damage to the mitochondria because of exposure to certain toxins or deprivation of oxygen will cause the, the cell to become cancerous and start to ferment glucose in the cytosol to produce ATP. However, when this occurs, when the cellular energy is produced by fermenting glucose in the cytosol of the cell, this will cause damage to the cell and an increase of the production of reactive oxygen species or free radicals that are a byproduct of producing ATP. And the amount of ROS or reactive oxygen species can increase significantly and cause more damage to the cell and the environment around the cell. ALA can actually remove ROS, reactive oxygen species, and allow the mitochondria to repair while ROS is cleared out of the way. And this is how it acts in an antioxidant manner to support the mitochondria. And ALA has been shown to be able to improve the mitochondria's ability to respire oxygen to produce ATP. Another way that researchers have found ALA to be supportive is through research done at University of California, Berkeley. In this research, researchers discovered that free radical damage will actually promote a cell protein called NF-kappa-B or NF-KB. And NF-KB has actually been discovered to cause genetic changes and inflammation that precede a, the development of cancer and a cancer diagnosis. ALA, in a study at University of California, Berkeley, when ALA bathed the cells, the cancer cells, the amount and the production of NFKB was inhibited, and this caused the preceding effects of the genetic changes and the inflammation to reverse. So that was an amazing study done in the University of California at Berkeley at, in, 
how ALA affects in the cellular processes. There are food sources for ALA. So food sources of ALA include asparagus, bok choy, cabbage, cauliflower, garlic, onion, sauerkraut, shallots, and organ meats. 100% grass-fed beef liver has high amounts of ALA. However, there, a lot of experts say that after the age of 45, it's hard to have the highest amounts of ALA in the diet and to be supportive of an anti-cancer process. And thus, it is recommended at some point to supplement ALA. A good form of ALA is R-lipoic acid, and it can be helpful to, to supplement between 50 milligrams to 600 milligrams a day, depending if you have a cancer diagnosis or not. ALA has also been used to support while a cancer patient goes through chemotherapy. And ALA has been discovered to reduce side effects of chemotherapy, to help reduce neuropathy, to reduce damage to the intestinal lining, and to reduce the side effects of diarrhea and digestive concerns from the toxic effects of chemotherapy. So ALA is an amazing holistic cancer support that can be used either in supplement form, increasing your diet sources of ALA, or IV ALA treatments. If you are a holistic practitioner and you want to become the cancer expert, apply now to become a Cancer Peace University instructor. And our next full course will be in August of 2021. I hope you guys have a great day and I look forward to sharing more with you about cancer in the future. Thank you so much.